There is a reason this program has been a staple of Monday nights for over 25 years. It is entertainment. It is excitement. It is Monday Night Raw. What could this be about? And the wait is finally over. Let's see what he has to say. First off, I would like to thank Mr. McMahon for giving me this opportunity to be the general manager of Monday Night Raw. As he said at the draft, this is a new era in WWE, and it indeed is a new era. So far, there are no champions here on Monday Night Raw, but in four weeks, at the Raw exclusive pay-per-view, Backlash, I guarantee Monday Night Raw will have a Universal Champion, a United States Champion, Raw Tag Team Champions, and a Raw Women's Champion. As a matter of fact, we'll be having a Raw Women's Championship match right here tonight between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks to crown our inaugural Raw Women's Champion. Also, tonight, there will be the start of an eight-man United States Gold Rush Tournament. And at Backlash, the final two men left will face each other for the United States Championship. There will also be two tag team matches tonight. And the winners will face each other next week for the Raw Tag Team Championship. And finally, later on tonight... On Raw, there will be two one-on-one -on -one matches, and the winners of those matches will face each other at Backlash for the vacant Universal Championship. That's all I have to say, ladies and gentlemen. So let's get Monday Night's Raw started. Wow, what a reaction from the WWE Universe. That was top-notch right there. Now that's how you promote a bout.
And a man has been defined by his passion, a man who's been defined by his work ethic, and a man who has been defined by Hall of Fame success here in WWE. strive to be more like John Cena. I do. And his opponent, from San Luis Potosi, Mexico, weighing in at 242 pounds, Albert O'Day Rob. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. These competitors are squaring off looking to outmatch each other. It's going to be a tall task for one of these two. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. You've got to believe this one's over. the impact. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Big punch finds its mark. Impact. He's starting to stumble here. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. Ouch. What are they going to do outside here? He wants no part of the outside. With the point of the elbow right in the nose. Jeez. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. And a spinning six. He's got him covered. And only a one count. That would have been a shocker. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. John Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in there. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring with. As long as he's been healthy, John Cena hasn't missed the showcase of the Immortals, but he was almost a healthy scratch in 2018 when Cena had a very weird road to WrestleMania. Michael mentioned John Cena and WrestleMania 34. 
Cena found himself outside of the title picture after losing at the Royal Rumble and in a title match at Fastlane. That's when he pulled a wild card and trash-talked The Undertaker. <laughs> he truly earned the ire of the dead man. As WrestleMania started, we still hadn't heard from The Undertaker, but once he showed up, he conquered Cena faster than any of his previous 23 WrestleMania victims. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Oh boy, Byron, it's time for your favorite thing. I'm ready, Corey, are you? Are you ready for the five-knuckle shuffle? Boom! He's back in control here. But can John... Here's the cover. And a kick out at two. Yeah, he's not done yet. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. What a strike. Right on the mark. Man, this has been a great matchup. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. The shoulders are down. Well, a quick kick out from John Cena. Gonna take more than that. He might boom right on the ear of the ends of Gary. I'm not sure how much he has left. Here he goes. Oh, it's locked in the arm bar. That could be it, guys. he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over until it's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? Never say die attitude out of him. And the Cena Nation doing everything they can to keep John Cena in this match. It's called the Cena Nation, Byron. One word. Harsh impact. He's looking at it. What a stop. Good grief. This could end it in a hurry. Is he done? And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Counter here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, and he reverses it. He's in trouble. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Looking for the exclamation point. Ring rattling. That has got a cover here. Two. Oh, somehow. Wow, what's it going to take? The intensity of this match has been incredible. <laughs> Are we looking at yet another John Cena victory here? That is exactly what John Cena needed. That's the way they drew it up. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. Boom! Are we looking at yet another John Cena victory here? John Cena is measuring. Here we go, John Cena. Oh, what a slam. That's how you put in a pin attempt. Two, three. John Cena wins. That match deserves another look. Here we go. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. Here is your winner, John Cena! Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event.
Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Batista. This guy takes time out of his busy movie star schedule to return to WWE, and they've given him nothing but disrespect. You have to respect the animal. This guy's fit to be tied, but his resume speaks for itself. You know, I don't know what it is about this guy that captivates the WWE Universe. Quite frankly, to me, Dean Ambrose looks like a guy that hasn't showered in about a month. There is no rhyme or reason for why Dean Ambrose does what he does, but that's why people like him, Corey. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. I think there's a good chance we'll be seeing a painful Batista oh. bomb tonight. Painful would be putting it lightly. Devastating is more accurate. You know, when Batista left Evolution, many felt he was a marked man, but the animal managed to thrive on his own. Batista became beloved by the WWE Universe, and it propelled him to multiple world championships. Michael mentioned Batista's departure from Evolution, and that's when the animal morphed into an altered beast, consumed with rage. However, after hellacious battles with John Cena, he instituted a self-imposed exile 
from WWE. After the animal used that time to become an MMA fighter and a hit movie actor, the animal returned in 2014, won his second Royal Rumble, headlined WrestleMania 30, and rejoined Evolution. Looking at Dean Ambrose's tenure in WWE, Ambrose has always been an odd personality. Never one to conform to the norms of WWE. Ambrose plays mind games with his opponents that seem to be done more for his own amusement than anything else. No luck against Batista there. Elbow finds its mark. He's making a statement here with this attack. Michael expressed how Dean Ambrose marches to the beat of his own drum. This is true, but don't let his humor fool you. Ambrose carries a dangerous chip on his shoulder. Look, everybody, including Dean's Shield brothers, have a chip on their shoulder, but you don't see them bringing mannequins and potted plants to the ring. Maybe if Ambrose were to show some more professionalism... Oh! Ball Buster! His shoulders are down. He got body on body there, but that's about it. And the match continues. Uh-oh. Batista is looking to end it. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Beautiful technique. Not much behind that pin attempt. Gonna take more to get out of the Ambrose Asylum. Yeah, a lot more. Ooh! Wicked clothesline! Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. I'm not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. Uh-oh. Watch out. Oh, shoulder first. I think the ring just shifted. Oh, and he reverses it. Oh, what a slam that hurt. He's on his heels. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. Here we go. Oh, but he's got to capitalize now. Oh, man, Batista's in trouble now. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Going for broke. Powerball! I don't like Ambrose's chances here at all. He's looking for the win. Batista did it. What a huge win. The superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean... Got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match.
What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And well, Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. consider myself on good terms with them because they talk about you a lot oh yeah what do yeah. they say they say nerd and their opponent at a combined weight of 505 pounds luke gallows and carl anderson Bonafide legends in the land of the rising sun. Anderson and Gallows, two of my favorite people to be around outside of the ring. Because inside, they're all business. I'd like to hang out with Anderson and Gallows outside of the ring. You would never be invited to brother softly with these two guys. I'd like to have abs like Anderson. Oh, yeah, me too. And here we nice. go. This tag team match is going to be heated, to say the least. When I think of tag teams that can make a major Ouch. impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Jeff, oof. Uh-oh. I don't think he's got it completely locked in. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Nice cross body. What a stomp! Good grief! It was tossed. She get airline miles for that. Jeff Hardy hurting a little here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't oh, mount man. the offense soon. It's no secret that quick man. tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. I know it's early, but if things stayed the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. Matt Hardy's become a tough competitor to prepare for now that he's woken. Corey, how can you prepare for Matt Hardy? Well, any potential opponent should be eating plenty of beans of green to stay in good shape. But more importantly, you need to avoid Matt Hardy's mind games. Oh my god, impactful slam! Oh, a debilitating elbow drop. I want to return to our discussion of strategy against Matt Hardy. Corey mentioned you have to beware of the Woken Warriors mind games, but how does one do that? You have to be either the most well-balanced or craziest competitor to keep Matt Hardy out of your head. When it comes to psychology, Hardy is competing on a completely different level than the rest of the WWE. Beautiful technique. Double axe handle smash. Set him up. Side Russian leg sweep. Oh, ho, ho. perfect form. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, the reversal by Carl Anderson. Carl Anderson is looking at this right now. And now it's Jeff Hardy getting pushed to the limit. His hopes of winning this tag team Ouch. match are starting to win. Oh, and he breaks free. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Boom, what impact. Ooh, what impact. And ooh, with the cutter. Incredible. He goes for the cover. And he breaks the pin. 
Carl Anderson is letting his feelings be known. Drop from above. Oh boy, he is rolling. He looks for it once. You gotta believe this one's over. Got every ounce of that one. This could be. And here is Jeff Hardy with an energy boost. This is truly a test here to see what Carl Anderson can do. He has to come up with a plan quickly. He may very well be on Dream Street right now. Oh, this one's over, guys. Going for the cover. The pen's broken up. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Jeff Hardy's going for it. Yeah, no question. He's showing great energy as usual. Boom! Rocket kick. Carl Anderson looking downright dominant right now. Boom! <laughs> Whoa, Anderson dodged that one. Harsh impact. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over until it's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. In off the tag. There it is, the tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. What a stomp. Good grief. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Luke Gallo's starting to slow down a bit, but he's not appearing too worse for wear. At least not yet, anyway. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be up. And he gets the shoulder up. Matt Hardy is far too woken to remain down now. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner... Uh-oh. knock him over. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Here's Anderson live and up close. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh, that did not look good for Carl Anderson. Will this be enough? And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. If the shoulders are down. What an incredible tag team contest. Corey, this team's on fire. I mean, I don't know how you stop them. I don't know if you can. They're firing on all cylinders. And the WWE fans absolutely love them. I mean, it's so much fun to watch. You don't have to like them, but you got to respect them. These two get it done inside the ring. It's devastation time! Unnerving. A couple of bad, bad dudes. On 
the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 620 pounds, Akum and Razor, the authors of pain. The authors of pain. Now, Akum and Razor have no issue obliterating anything or anyone. Or obliterating That's anything a... or anyone. That's what Akum I said. Akum and Razor, two behemoths that possess terrifying speed, shocking agility, and have a big time future in the WWE. Than with this one. I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Tell you what, Michael, I'm not going to lie. These two make an awesome tag team. I cannot wait for this match. Big time tag team match oh, underway man. here. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. using your head. Fair! That was vicious. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Jordan now on the defensive. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary Ouch. considering he has a very capable partner he could tag in here. Well, this certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. Axe Handle finds the mark. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. And look at hung up by the sec. Get in there, rep. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be looking for the win. Is he done? Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Scoop slam!
Tagged in. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Heart Foundation. The rocker dropper from the Rockers. Or the... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. And tag team action like in singles competition. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Uh-uh. Scoot slam. Drop kick. <laughs> it's the mark. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top turnbuckle. Jason Jordan has him right where he wants him. Look at this. Oof. Oh, nasty impact. In off the tag. Jason Jordan could be done for. Oh. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. He better be careful. It looks to me like he's one big move away from losing this match. This might be it! Oh, my! Boom! <laughs> There's the tag. Impact. It's almost like Jason Jordan can do no wrong right now. Jacob is in a real bad spot. Chad Gable is in position. This could be big. Watch this here. Oh no, Jason Jordan just got outclassed. Thunderous Russian leg sweep by Aker. Warm up the butt. Will be landed here. One. And a kick out, much to nobody's surprise. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. Jason Jordan groggy and wide open here. Oh! And there it is, boy. Hoping to end it here! This is it! Two! And he kicks out. Too soon. Oh boy, he is rolling. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Gets out of the way of that one. Vicious strike. Oh, what impact! Here's a chance to win this. This is, and here's a cover. 
He's not done fighting yet. Rezar refuses to surrender. I'm not surprised at all. When this guy's on, look out. Here it Oh, man. Rezar took his head off. That should do it. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. Wow. That's pure power, guys. Man, look at the quickness of Razor. Man, that big shouldn't move that fast. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. What a clothesline! Ouch! That might be all she wrote. He's going for the pin. One! Two! At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. And there's his speed paying off. Oh boy, he is rolling. Thunderous Russian leg sweep by Akam. That might be all she wrote for Chad Gable. At uh -oh. the all harsh impact. That's using your head. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Psycho Sid, the man, the master, and the ruler of the world. Pure devastation from Akam. But he's got the shoulders down. Two, three. Now that's an impressive tag team victory. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Oh, I can't believe this. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. Check this out. He's going to want to make sure he saves every minute of this match for his personal highlight reel, because he was on fire in this one. Here are your winners, Akam and Razor, the authors of pain. Big win here to start the show. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at one of the reasons that the women's revolution has become the women's evolution. First ever women's Hell in a Cell match against Sasha Banks. An amazing Iron Man match as well. Charlotte has accomplished it all in such a short period of time. Multi-time champion, history maker, record setter, Legend in the making. It's boss time. Here comes Sasha. And her opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks.
Sasha Banks has made a great deal of history here in WWE. Competed in the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match, multiple time Raw Women's Champion. Corey, I don't understand what your issues are with Sasha Banks. She's one of the all-time greats. Dare to talk to her? Charlotte has always had a foil in the form of Sasha Banks. Their careers have intertwined for quite a while, haven't they? Michael, the few blemishes on Charlotte's pristine record have come via the boss. Banks handed Charlotte her final loss in NXT and also ended the Queen's first three Raw Championship reigns. And I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time. Oh, right in the face! Destroyed! I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Set up from behind. Natural selection. She has got to take advantage here. She goes for the cover. What a win! Charlotte with the victory. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. She might have won, but she should be a little embarrassed at how bad that match was. Honestly, it was just tough to watch. Here is your winner, and the new Raw Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. Oh, this is going to be good. Making his way to the ring from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. One of the baddest dudes to ever play the game. The first two-time NXT champion. A world-traveled, world-class competitor. One of the most well-rounded athletes sports entertainment's ever encountered. Yeah, the scenery may have changed in Samoa Joe's career, but the attitude is still the same. Samoa Joe does what he wants, when he wants. The longest reigning Universal Champion in history! And his opponent, accompanied by Paul Heyman from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! Beast, the Conqueror, the Mayor of Suplex City, Brock Lesnar has earned every nickname bestowed upon him. The most decorated combat athlete in the world, gracing WWE with his presence. Someone's going to take a trip to Suplex City. Yeah, that's almost good. What's going on here? 
Wait a minute. We need to get some order back in this. We know the goal in WWE for many superstars is to become the Universal Champion. A road Samoa Joe placed himself on very quickly upon entering WWE. Unfortunately for many superstars, the end of that road is met by Brock Lesnar. However, Joe didn't seem to hold the typical fear any mortal man would have when facing the Beast Incarnate. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Bringing up Samoa Joe's lack of fear towards Brock Lesnar, Byron, it reminds me how Joe had a bloodthirsty look in his eyes for several weeks, competing for the Universal title. Almost became an afterthought as the rivalry grew more personal with each encounter. Some could see Samoa Joe's actions against Brock as temporary insanity. But to those of us who know Joe, know he is absolutely truculent. He is the intimidator and never the intimidated. Big slam. Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. And here's Samoa Joe speaking his mind. Lesnar taking some punishment. This oh, could be man. the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. to win this match. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what, he's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. At this point, oh, they man. both look to be about evenly matched. Maybe I'll give him an edge. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. He's capable of turning it on, but he's got to make sure he doesn't fade fast. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. What's Brock Lesnar putting together here? Oh, boy. Oh. Samoa Joe isn't looking so hot, guys. It's going to take a lot more than that to keep him down. Samoa Joe will not allow himself to be wreckage. He's not going to like this. Uh-oh. Batten down the hatches. Oh, what impact. Wow, what a gritty performance. Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! Kokina Clutch! This one's over, Byron. That might just be the final nail in the coffin. Brock Lesnar definitely in a tough spot now. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. And he somehow frees himself from the hold. I guess it's going to take more than that to put him away here tonight. against Joe there. Uh-uh. Oh, this 
superstar top rope. Oh, no. Up, lift him up. Here it comes. Do no muscle buster. You simply can never count out Samoa Joe. He's got him covered. One, two. He gets his shoulder up before three. He's got some more fight in him, guys. What a stomp. Good grief. Despite having an impressive spot in this week's power rankings, I'm told this superstar isn't all concerned with things like that. Look at this. Uh -oh. Not the oh, oh my goodness, crushing it! Got to get back in the ring. We might just have a count out on our hands, Cole. The longer this fight goes on, the more glaring. This is not how you want to see a matchup like this end. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. Overall, this match was average at best, but not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, Samoa Joe! And the official decision is a count out. Oh, come on. That's garbage. Nobody wants a count out. Get them back in the ring and let's restart this thing. message to the entire roster of WWE if you think you can stop me try yeah good luck with that go ahead Byron try uh, I'm good one of the most dominating superstars of recent era you can go ahead and say it, Cole, of all time. The monster among men is here! And his opponent, weighing in at 385 pounds, Ron Strowman! The 
earth is trembling with each step. Strowman's an absolute force of nature. Terrifyingly powerful. Yeah, you start to feel like there's nothing Braun Strowman can't do. Well, there is one thing we know for a fact Braun Strowman can't do, and that is be stopped. The monster among men is unbelievable. Byron, ever since Strowman's arrival in WWE, I think we all knew that he was a dangerous man, but I don't think anybody truly realized what he was capable of until his rivalry with Roman Reigns. Oh, I'd agree, Michael. And to say that Strowman opened a lot of eyes during that rivalry would be a gross understatement, especially when you look at what he did to Reigns while inside an ambulance. These guys are undoubtedly going to oh. give us a show here tonight. Guys, we absolutely have to elaborate more on Strowman in the ambulance. Remember, not only did Strowman brutally assault Reigns to put him in the ambulance, he followed it up by literally tipping the ambulance over with Reigns inside of it. And you know what? It's a miracle that Reigns didn't suffer career-ending injuries that night. Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Oh, trying to dislocate the shoulder. Tough situation to be in right here. Yeah, you have to think this is not going to end well. He's got him covered. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. And we continue. Boom, what impact. Looks like trouble here, Byron. I don't know. I guess that all depends on who you're rooting for. Running body press. Down to the floor. Nicely done. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. I'm not sure how much he has left. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. DDT. Braun Strowman faltering some. But he's not appearing too worse for wear. Ooh. At least not yet anyway. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty. Beautiful technique. Incredible. Wow, kicking butt and taking names. He's got him on his heels and shows no sign. Superman punch! Good night! Nice. Shut it down. Wow, that should be the final blow. It oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. Wow, let's see that again. Man, he is simply a walking highlight reel. This could do it. Braun Strowman kicks out easily. Not yet. Oh, an elbow drop. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. Strowman dodged that one. And look at hung up on the second in there, ref. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Incoming. K 
can he do it here? And Roman Reigns powers out. Gonna take a whole lot more. No person could take much more of this. And Roman Reigns is not looking good. There may be no coming back from this. Oh man, what a beating he's taken. You can see the lights are on, but clearly nobody's home. Reigns sizing up the target. Spear! Cut him in half. That's what he was looking for, Michael. And there's the cover! One true testament to Grit. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Looking to end it here! This could be it! Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Yeah, even now, Strowman has the strength and will to power out. Chin lock! Great way to wear down your opponent. Impact. What an assault on Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns' chances just went slammed down hard. What an assault on Roman Reigns. He's firing on all cylinders. Oh boy, he is rolling. This might be it. Oh my. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. And here's the monster along, man. Corey, look at the boom. Hellacious power slam. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. He's got to be running on empty at this point. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. Oof! Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Setting him up for something here. And whatever it is, it's going to hurt, and it's going to hurt bad. Ooh, nasty impact. Shoulders on the back. One, two, a kick out, and he almost had him. Just when he thought it was over. Wow. Boom, running STO plants. Nicely done. Leaping high. Oh boy, he is rolling. What's coming next? Taking their time. Ah, oh, punch to the gut. Take the win right out of you. Just a nasty headbutt. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Bringing it back into the ring. Two. Boom. Three. The cover. This could do it. Too close for cover. This is amazing. What's coming next? Taking their time. Harsh impact. Got red suplex. Making it look easy. I gotta say, when I saw this week's power rankings, I thought there was a misprint. There's no way this superstar deserves such a favorable ranking. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Brutal knee right to the face. 
Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He needs to change something fast, guys. Oh, my goodness, crushing it. He thinks he has it. Two. Oh, how resilient was that? Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. Deconstructing the knee there. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Oh, nasty fall. He knows he's in trouble. And here's the monster along mid. Corey, look at the power. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. Reigns has identified the target. Stand by. Spear. There is no toppling the Roman Empire tonight. Hoping to end it here. Two. Three. Against all odds, he's got the victory. That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. And that's a win to start off the night. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks.